Jair. Right in front, right here. I know uh, you want the undisputed belt, and that's the interim belt in, right there in front of you, but I guess what are the emotions now that you are an, another Mexican champion up there, up there on stage? Even though I uh, believe that I could do this in one stage of my life, it's almost like unbelievable at the same time. I don't know, it's weird, it's weird to, to explain, you know, uh, that I finally get to carry this belt around and uh, call myself a champion. It's been a, it's been a long journey, you know. We'll talk, I was talking to my coaches earlier on, um, and they say, okay, it's been, a, it's been a long time, it's been already 10 years since we started working, you know, and, um, you know, this feels surrealistic, but, um, you know, I'm, I'm really happy, you know, I'm, I'm super happy that I can have my family here with me for this special moment, and in this special land, you know, that I always wanted to come here to Australia. Uh, the public was so amazing, the crowd was perfect, you know, and the people has been so nice to to me and my family, and uh, you know, I can't wait to come back here. You said at Media Day there were a lot of bumps in the road just to get here to Australia. So, given everything that happened leading up to this, where does this rank in terms of your career wins? Can you repeat the question? I what is, given everything that you went through to get here to Australia, you know, you had to fly, you had to stay in, I think it was Bali, you said it for a mm -hmm. long time, the other side of the world. Where does this just rank in terms of just your the whole journey and everything in your career? Well, it's just um, like. You know, whenever you get into the top of a mountain and then you get to the top, you still realize there is more. <laughs> exactly in that point right now. Uh, I just go here, you just realize there is more to come and uh, there is more places to, to go, you know. And um, this is, um, I don't want to say nothing, you know, because this is a lot for me. Uh, but compared to what one can do in this sport, this, this means just a little, you know. So I'm gonna, I'm gonna keep pushing to accomplish more goals into this company, into my dream, and uh, making my my family, my country, and my friends feel proud of me. And looking at this fight against Josh, uh, did this play out as you thought? Uh, he seemed to land a couple hard punches in the first, and then you came out very aggressive in the second round. Yeah. Um, we, I work with my coaches the same strategy as you saw in the fight. I work with my with my training partners. We knew he was going to come hard. We knew he was going to move around and then tramp and uh, sit down and land those hard punches. Uh, we talk about it in the interviews. He's so explosive. He aggressive. Uh, he's aggressive and um, quick. You know, I couldn't see that punch. You know, co coming towards me and uh, all of a sudden I was out for a second. You know, and. Um, in the second round, um, it wasn't the first round when I hit him in, with the with the lever with the lever kick, and I saw him kind of like slowly start like slowing down. You know, I, I could see him like kind of struggling to the fight. I could land a couple good punches. He had a good cut in his face, and uh, I, I was like, okay, you be relaxed and you you'll get it. Don't get desperate. And um, then he landed that good punch, and coming out in that second round, I was saying to myself, you stay positive, stay positive, you will get it, don't get desperate, and uh, everything is gonna be there, you just believe in yourself. And, um, you know, I could, I could get the W. We saw your, your coach, Izzy Martinez, cage side after you got the belt, and he has long been saying that, you know, you're, gonna, you're going to get the UFC championship at some point, so what was it like <laughs> to finally, you know, go back there and see him with that championship? <laughs> I, uh, I told him, hey, hey, bro, it's been a long time, right? I, you should took me less time than this. It's like, no, everything is a journey. Everything is a journey, you know? And uh, if you're in this point in your career right now, it's because he had to be like that. So, you know, for everybody it's different. For me, it was this way. And, uh, you know, also Coach Mike and Coach Easy, they've been putting a lot of work into this, you know? And, and many, many other people there, I don't know, here, they've been putting a lot of effort and work uh, into making me who I am right now as, a, as an athlete and as a person. And I can thank all the people and offer all those, those days of hard work. And finally, I have to ask about Alex Volkanovski's uh, performance in the main event. Uh, he's, it was obviously a very close fight. He says he wants to drop, of course, he wants to drop back down and unify the belts. At what point do you start you know, looking at that fight down the road and breaking down how to match up with Alex? Yeah, I was looking at the fight. Um, I, I couldn't really see that much of the, of the fight. It was how it was going in between Islam and him, but um, it was it was a pretty good fight. As I could see, it was pretty. It's a pretty close fight. 
um, talking about his fight uh, against me. Um, I think he's quick. I think he's explosive and he has a pretty good wrestling and Jiu Jitsu defense. So I think the fight in between him and I will like stay standing standing up. So it will be like a like a, more of a striking fight. And everything comes down to who does it better in the day, who does uh, a better strategy, and who's able to maintain the strategy if it's working, you know, and able to adjust if it's not working. And um, you know, I can't see much about anything. You know, it's just a matter of who does it better that day. Yeah. Um Tonight was the first time Alex has lost in the UFC and in over 10 years. When you guys fight, do you think that's going to have a more motivated version of him? Or do you think maybe you're catching him at the perfect time now? Because maybe, who knows, where his confidence will be at, where his mindset will be at, all those things. Bro, he's fighting for the 155-pound division against Islam Makashev. You know, he's not fighting like a nobody. Islam is tough. It's really tough. We have seen the Russian, the Russian guys fighting in this company. They're super tough, and you know he was able to go in there, not only five rounds, but demonstrate that he's capable of also winning. You know because he was the fight was pretty close. It was three rounds to two. So uh, I think he did a pretty good job. He's gonna. I, I just think the fight between him and I will will be as it has to be. You know he he will be there 100 percent. I don't see why not. And I'll be there 100% as well. So, so you guys will have a pretty good fight. Do you think uh, you'll have to come back here and do the unifier here? Or we had Dave Shaw, the UFC executive up there. I asked him about maybe doing it in Mexico. Mm -hmm. And he you know, didn't dismiss it. So is that, would that be your perfect world? Yeah, that would be perfect. You know, uh, I, actually, I talked to um, Alexander Volkanovsky in the past in Dallas. Uh, no, not that much with him, but with his manager. He was like, he asked me, "Will you be able to go to Australia? Will you go to Australia?" I was like, "Yeah, why not? Yeah, of course I'll go." So, I, I stick to my to my world, and I came here, won the interim title, and uh, now, I want to ask the UFC to take this belt, this championship fight, to Mexico City, in September, whenever they open in the the UFC Performance Institute, so we can do it there. I don't know if you saw Alex's walkout tonight and how crazy that was, but is that something you dream of, of like what that could be like for you in Mexico? Um, I, I didn't really see him. You know, I was uh, busy doing the interviews and some pictures and stuff, you know, and uh, I, I wasn't able to see it, but I'm sure <laughs> I have no doubt that it was crazy for him. You know, all the people here, is, they're, they're big fans, you know, and uh, they are really supportive of their people, and I'm sure it was, it was crazy for sure. Uh, yeah, yeah. Uh, you've had some bumps in the road on this journey, uh, the losses to Edgar Holloway. Was there any point that you thought, like, you might not get to this crowning moment that you're at now? Yeah, th those are the moments that I thought the most, you know, and uh, <laughs> those are like the demons that I, that I talk in the interviews that you have to fight every single day of your life. The what ifs, what if I can't? What if I don't? Or what if this happens? Or what if, you know, and uh, some of those things, they never became true, you know? So the only thing that you can do is live your life the best way possible, avoiding the <coughs> most mistakes you can and doing the best you can, you know? And then stop thinking that much, you just, you just live. And uh, with that say, you know, um, I've been learning to fight my demons every single day and winning over them every time that I that I, you know, think of situations like that. And uh, who's been the most instrumental in, in this journey for you? Who? Cool. Who's been probably the most motivating, who's motivated you the most, uh, perhaps a, a coach, a family member, to, to get you to this moment? It's just uh, a mix of everybody, you know. I can, I can mention a single person, but uh, of course my mom. My mom has my heart. She's a special part of my life. My brother as well, my little sister. My dad is a special part of my life, of course. But those two guys back there looking at me right now, my coaches, you know, they've been, they've been there for me regardless of my craziness, of what I decide to do, you know. They've been, they've been there for me uh, for many years and putting a lot of trust and effort into this to become true. And uh, I can thank them enough because they have seen me in my worst, they have seen me in my best. And, uh, you know, they know me. They know me like no many other people knows me. And... Uh, 
you know, have them here right now is, is amazing. You know, I can thank my, my management team and off. I can thank my friend Marco and off for helping me out to get here. And uh, it's, just, it's just a mix of everybody, you know, all my people back there at home. You know, it's, it's everybody, you know, it's, you, can, you, you have to kind of absorb the best energy from everybody and, and put the negative away. Um, my friends, I know I'm rooting for me there. They were just calling me moments ago and, and look at the phone and they, they were just calling me, you know, because they want to talk to me and I'm sure they want to congratulate me and say, I'm sure what they're going to say. I'm, I'm sure they're going to say, we knew you're going to become a champion one day. We told you, we told you this, we talk about it. And um, it, it's just been a long journey, you know, of many, many people believing in me, but especially, especially myself. And uh, can you talk uh, about the, the love that Australia has had for you uh, during this fight? They've really adopted and take, taken you in. When you walked out, Australia went wild for you. Um, is, have you felt that love throughout fight week? If I have felt that before? Just had the, the love that Australia uh, has for you. Uh, they've really ad kind of adopted you this, this fight week. Yeah, that's, that's, that was crazy, you know, because... Um, I was probably one of the contenders for the like the, the 145 title itself, and uh, they knew it, and they even like that they they were able to to uh, applaud me and uh, cheer for me, and many people walk uh, towards me in the street and ask me for pictures, and they 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 didn't stop telling me how much good and luck they um, they wish me, and um, you know I I really love to be here, you know, and. Uh, not only that, I have, I have friends from here that uh, <laughs> there's been a long time I didn't see. It was, I was really happy to see them, you know, and um, it's amazing. It's amazing to be here. It's the first experience that I have flying this long and having my family here just makes it so special. Thanks, Mike. Congratulations. Thank you. Yeah, yeah. Um, just towards, right at the end there, after Josh submitted, you s said something to him, and I was just wondering what you said to him. Yeah, um, so this is a really important moment for us, right? Like I already said. And uh, when I finished the triangle, I could see in his expression the desperation of, of like, fuck, I, I lose, you know, I lose. I, it's like he, he saw his opportunity go away, but I just want to say to him, no. I told him, no, no, hey, no, stop. Like, stop that thinking that you have right now. You're a warrior. You will overcome this, you know, you, you got this. So the only thing that I can say to him, you're a warrior, brother. We find the way to wake up, to stand up every time we fall into the ground, and I'm sure you will do that, you know. So stay strong, and I'm sure we will see each other in the future again. So just keep being strong, brother. What sort of bond do you make with someone when you're in the cage fighting them, even if you don't like them? It's a very unique situation. And um, how do you feel towards a person once you've been in that situation with them? Can you repeat the question? Uh, being in the octagon fighting someone is a very unique, it's actually quite intimate situation. So what can you say to the bond you build with someone once you've fought them? I mean, there is not much that it can be say, you know, only wishing the guy the best. Wishing uh, everybody, your opponent, and the the best. You know, um, I don't really. I'm the guy that uh, likes to to attack my opponents uh, in many ways. Only when I'm fighting. You know, I I like to make this uh, sport as clean as possible, out and in the cage. You know, we can we can get to any direction you want. You know, it's gonna have to. It's gonna be up to you how how far you wanna take it with me, because I'm I'm able to do so as well. But um, I like. To be easy on my on my opponents, friendly, and uh, whenever I have to talk, it's inside the the cage and, and doing my job, and that's it. You know, I don't, I don't see why talking or saying that much. Thank you and congratulations. Thank you. Hell yeah! Thank you guys. I appreciate I appreciate all of you.